Let me just find out. So what is the mission of uh, New Force? What, what is your vision? Of course, you may have a mission, something within your scope for now, within the next few years, and a vision for much farther into the future. What's your mission? Well, first of all, our, our, our mission is, is to change the narrative of the existing politics, you know, the mm -hmm. geopolitics in the system, because it's been four decades of, you know, both parties going back and forth and taking it in turns. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we look at the level of development, both human and social development, we're running behind schedule. Because we're looking at 40 years ago in Dubai, they had maybe four buildings or five buildings. And then 40 years down the line, they have millions of apartments and commercial buildings, and now they've become the center of the world and part of the global economy. So if you look at the pace of development of other countries, the speed, you know, we're really far behind. Mm. And um, our mission is to come and change that narrative so there could be a sustainable understanding between national governance and national development. Brilliant idea, but how are you going to execute that? Well, everybody wants to ask you that question. How are you going to execute that? How are you going to execute that? If I told you that I'm going to build a 64 uh, uh, floor building as a skyscraper, and you ask me, how am I going to execute that? I will now have to explain to you that I need to put an architect together. Of course, I have to pay him, okay? I need to put some engineers together. I have to put some contractors, and I have to make sure I pay some suppliers. And I have to make sure I import those things and bring it in and pay taxes. And I have to find the installers to put it together. I have to manage it. I have to project manage it. I have to make sure that I sponsor it. I have to. So these are the things. It's okay. a lot so, of things. So, if you, so, what so you're that, asking that, me, that, basically. That then brings me to this point. Of course, yes, like governments, there are different cogs in the wheel of government. Ministers, members of parliament, the three different arms of government. But then I would ask you, um, does that mean you have a manifesto? I do. I, we do have a manifesto. Okay. We, have, we have a manifesto. What are the core plans? And of then the manifesto? we have the constitution. One minute, I'll come back to your question. We have a manifesto, we have a constitution, and we have built... 16 offices in the 16 regions. We read the constitution and we followed what we had to do. Put in the application for a political party, but we were not responded to. After the seven days... You were days, not responded to no, by, no, no, no. The by the AC. Yes. After seven days, when you pay and you submit, they have to respond to you after seven days. It's right. been three months. Okay, so I'm not here to, to talk about laws. Have you, and, have you followed up? Oh yes, we wrote a letter again, you know, and they still haven't responded. Okay, we, we don't have to go there, but I hope that the EC can hear me and say, okay, let's respond to this young man. Uh, we're supposed to give him his uh, provisional licenses. So, you know, if they had given us that, today New Force will be talking about the actual party you know, and mm. using the logos and using maybe our mottos and slogans and stuff like that. But, you know, since that hasn't happened, it doesn't mean that it should stop the conversation or stop the mission or, or, or even uh, restrict the vision. We're still going ahead. We're still going ahead with a new force movement, which is supported so by... That, that, that explains why you're classifying yourself as a movement for now. Well, it's not I'm classifying because you're not, myself. Because you're not a political party. I am not a political party. I'm not a politician. And um, if I had a political party and I had to go with the rules and regulations and the conditions, that comes from EC and that is part of the legislation of the country, then I have to go by those laws and those regulations. But yeah. since that hasn't happened, you can't put me in that curriculum, you know. Yeah. And not to say that without that also, I can't fulfill the vision. Right. You know, we still have the, uh, by law, we can be an independent uh, flag bearer, and, that, and that's what we're doing. But, but it all goes back to the Electoral Commission. But interesting point you made about your regional offices in all 16 regions. Yeah, you absolutely. do realize you would need offices in the districts as well. Absolutely. Should you, know, should you decide a, to go that 176 route? of them. If we have already got in the 16, we don't see having the 177. That's a problem. Everything is possible. You know, you just need total concentration. You need to be focused. And that is a perfect method to execute anything. It's very much possible. But, you know, just to have the offices in the region is even the most difficult part. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know that, you know, we quickly followed what the Constitution was requiring. And, you know, and our requirements has been fulfilled and our submission has been done. But in return, we haven't been fulfilled with the, uh, the, the, the laws. Uh, the do, do you feel you're being targeted? You're being hounded in a way? I, you, say, you say, and we'll get to the convention, but you say even with the Electoral Commission, 
you write to them, they don't respond. Are you going to follow up again? I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm being targeted. I think that any force, any power that stands up, anyone that is blessed, anyone that is successful, anyone that has anything about the average in Africa, you know, it uh, becomes uh, some sort of... Um, Target? I, I don't want to use the word target. You know, target is like <laughs> we are coming for you to, you know, destroy you. you know? But I, I don't think, I think, I think people just, people, people have questions for you. You know, people like to delay you. People like to hold you back. And then, who are you? Where, where did you come from? And why should we let you? And, you know, I, I, I think it's an African thing. But also mentally and spiritually, I also think that when you're blessed, you have to face these challenges and you have to be able to overcome these challenges and move on. You know, mm -hmm. just focus on where you want to be, where you want to go. You know, after all, all we have in this world is to pass time. You know, and what I can do today, I might not be able to do it 20 years from now. So for me, I'm not looking at it as something that's supposed to hold me back. I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I, I was asking, I think it got lost in transition. Will you still go back to the Electoral Commission to try and, you know, get some response and set up your political party? It, it will, it, will it be called New Force? Definitely still? my team. I wouldn't like to disclose the name right now until we are allowed to use the name. So the name will change? Uh, yes, it's a, there's, there's a name for the political party. Like I said, the, new, the new force is a movement, and you can't turn mm -hmm. a movement to a political party. In, right, I yeah. don't know if you've read the Constitution very well. That, there are reasons I'm asking you those very okay, questions. Okay, so you can't do that. But um, yes, at the right time, of course, we would um, do it right. Okay, so you want to be president. <laughs> do you? I am going to be a president. <laughs> I, I, I would like you to speak louder. I no, just no, no. asked him, you want to be president. You asked me a question, right? Yes. I am answering you. Yes. I am going to be the president. You are going to be the president. Yes. That's some, that's some courage. Isn't um, that what we need? To be alive? I, to do the things that we have to do? I don't know, but the stark reality, too, is you have two gargantuan parties, mm -hmm. juggernauts, the National Democratic Congress, and the New Patriotic Party. Have you heard the MPP say they are trying to break the eight? Have you seen the floats and the crowds? Have you seen the NDC and the former president, John Mahama? You're going toe to toe with these parties. I mean, should the EC clear you and everything? You're very confident. What, what explains your confidence? Confidence is faith. If you have faith, you will demonstrate your confidence. And I feel like, you know, right at this stage, at this point, you know, I could be president in many other ways. I could be president of the nation. I could be president of the uh, private world <laughs> and create wealth. And I still will be remembered in history that he came and he changed. You know, there is so many ways that I could have this crown on my head, you know. And I'm not looking at the two giants as uh, a destruction for me. You know, I am looking at myself as, um, do I have people that um, might believe in my vision? Yes, out of the 33 million, there are some people that could agree with me. There are some people that might be fed up with what they've had in the past four decades. So my confidence is built from my faith. From my faith. And I strongly believe that there is a change, there's a revolution, there is a moment that we are making a movement out of that moment. And that change is very powerful. I, I don't think, you know, it just takes a human being to determine or to stop or to change or shift it. Let's just see, you know, the outcome of...